Right. I'm trying to make a mount for my camera for my ski helmet. This is the camera I've got. It's a Sony AS4. AS400? No. ASV. Anyway, I'll put it in the description. Anyway, so this is my camera. Um, this is the mounting bracket. It's it goes in, and then there's a screw there. Now I did used to have it attached to the helmet, just here. I had that um, strap or uh, clip there, and then I had. Bracket. There we go, and then I had this bracket which clipped in, which clipped in there, and then the camera went in the side of it. The only trouble was, it's right up near my eye, and I ended up looking like a Borg from uh, Star Trek. Not, and also, um, which isn't necessarily bad, well, it just looked a bit old. The other thing was, because the camera was stuck there, um, I couldn't lift my goggles up. Every time I lift them up, they got stuck under it, and I looked, oh. If I didn't look like a Borg, I looked like some kind of social misfit with his goggles at an angle like that, which just looked weird. So, what I wanna do, so this is the lowest part of the helmet that I can attach a mounting bracket to, or else I have to attach it here. And then I've got to have a big, I did consider attaching one here and then having come kind of a boom arm coming out. I want the camera to be much lower down here. But the problem with that then is you've got an, uh, a support point here and you've got the camera out here. There's a lot of leverage to uh, put on this, on this bracket. So what I'm gonna do is try and extend the helmet. And put something hard here that I can attach it to. Now I thought of using a piece of aluminium, um, but that's going to be quite difficult to bend around that. I mean, I could kneel it and bend it, but it's quite a tricky piece of work, tricky thing to do. So um, I made this template. So there's a kind of a flat edge, if you can see there, that I can attach something to, and it kind of goes around there a bit. So if I was to get something to go there. That's kind of the shape that I want. So, got this piece of plastic, and this is, um, in the UK, it's a waste water pipe. It's 100 mil, four inches across, and it's heat sensitive. So I put it in the oven, heat it up, and it becomes quite flexible. I've made a few things with it in the past. A phone phone bracket for my bike. Um, what else did I make out of it? Uh, oh, some other mounts, camera mounts um, for other helmets. I've made anyway. So I've, I've not done anything with this thick before because this is a, a much larger piece. Anyway, so plan is cut that to fit on there. Heat it up, mold it to fit. Now I'll make a hole in there that I can attach the camera to. Screw that through, through from the other side. And because that's then going to be attached all the way along here, you don't get that turning moment that, that, would, that would snap off a single bracket. So there's far less strain on it. And it's also going to be a lot, a lot closer to my face it's going to be down out of the way of my goggles. Um, but it still gives me... I did look at chest mount. Um, but then I had to wear a strap across me. And also it's not... I don't know. This, this helmet... This helmet... This camera works really well for a helmet. Because it's so slim. It kind of fits nice and neat on the helmet. Unlike a GoPro. Which is, which is really wide. Which looks odd on a, on a, um, a helmet. But... Uh, GoPro works really well on the chest because obviously it's very it's wider, but it's very flat. It's not very doesn't stick out very far. But this looks a bit odd on your chest. Um, 
that I've looked at some shoulder straps as well. Didn't really care for them. The other thing, also, sorry, I should cover with this. Um, if the weather's bad, I need to be able to put my hood up. So I've got a hood that comes all the way up. So I could have gone for vertical mount there. I've seen some people with these, the exact same camera actually, like that. But you can't put the hood on. Um, and if it goes and doesn't come far enough forward, then the hood will cover it. So you're very limited in the places you go. It's got to, it's got to really go along the side here. So you can, then you can put a hood up. It can't stick out too far because the hood won't go over it. It's uh, tricky old, tricky old stuff. Anyway, so I've uh, cut the got the template, cut the plastic to match. So just got to do some more positioning. Work out where that needs to go. I'm going to smooth that round a bit more, get it to fit better on this contour here. Um, and then I'll heat this up and mould it. So anyway, I'm going to get that contour a bit better matched first. Okay, so that's the piece. Cut to the right shape. I've just gone and eyeballed it. And it's not long enough. The camera, the hole for the camera needs to be about there. So this has got to come down a lot further. And unfortunately, I don't have another piece of pipe. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow. Now I had this piece left over, but it's not big enough. It doesn't go. I thought I might be able to turn it round, but it's just not. It's just not quite long enough. You know what it is there. It's probably long enough for a bit of prototyping. Right, there we go. I've just drawn the, well, the top outline. It kind of runs down the back there. And uh, let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna grind it off with this uh, flat wheel. And of course, I forgot that's the edge of the helmet there, so I don't want this big piece just hanging down. So I've just drawn a line straight across there, so I'll just... Right, I do feel a bit bad. This top corner, I just ground the whole piece off and made 8 million plastic microbeads. So I've cut this line with the saw, which I should have, I should have cut most of this, this top one off. But uh, anyway, so I've cut this piece off, so I'm just going to smooth along that edge and there won't be too much dust there. Right, so that's, that's the shape. Let's see if that's big enough. Right, so I'll take that on the side of it. I think it could still do with coming forward a bit probably, since it covered that pad. Anyway, let's go check it out. Right, so this is interesting. Anyway, so there's the helmet, there's the camera, I need to bend that to make it fit, but there's enough there. I think this needs to probably follow the line of that cheek, actually, that cheek pad. So I think that might be what I'll do for the final version, but that fits fits on it. Here we go. I think I might have missed out the most important step. This is my halogen oven. So it's just a... Uh, it's a cooker. You buy them on eBay, thirty-four pounds. Oh, not eBay, Amazon. There's a halogen element in there and a the fan. It just blows up. Um, but it's got quite good temperature control. So I've, in the past, I've found it about 170 degrees is a good temperature. And depending on how thick it is, depending on the size. So that was just about five minutes or so. And uh, it, it's quite floppy when it comes out, as you can see from here. So. I've got my uh, welding gloves on and I just pushed it on to the helmet. You can see, actually that's really nice. You can see it's taken perfectly that line around the edge there. Um, anyway, and that just sits 
right like that no gap no nothing so that's really nice so I've I've just cooled it in some cold water and what I'm gonna do is if I heat it up again I'll lose all this nice piece here so I'm, what I'm gonna do to, to smooth this piece out to get this piece that's holding the camera right I'll just use my heat gun and heat it up locally and then hopefully I can just bend that piece otherwise what I'm gonna have to do what I've done in the past is I'll have to make a a wooden former that will go here in the at the right angle for the camera and then I'll just I'll lay it it's, it goes like a like a like a thick sheet of rubber like almost like underlay on a carpet or, or a, a floor mat in a car it kind of flops down kind of heavy and just kind of sits and you just push it down where around where you, where you want it um, so anyway I may have to make a wooden former to hold to support it and then I'll just push it down onto that and that'll be it but that's really good I'll just stick that on and have another tie it out line it up there we go yeah. there it is there's just right right And there's the camera. Let's put that. I'll make a hole, put that on there. Let's see how it goes. So I've just marked that hole. I think it's Ideally, I think it'd probably be about where the tip of my thumb is. But this is as low down, as far forward as I can get it. So all that piece at the back there can come off. Or won't be needed in the final one. Anyway, so I'll get that hole drilled and see how that looks. Right. There we go. There it is. So it needs to angle in a little bit. But I've got... I can control the up and down depending on how far forward I'm leaning. That fits nicely there. Check my goggles, I think. All right. So there's the goggles on. Coming up. Going down. Completely out of the way. Perfect. Okay. So we've got a slight, slight problem with full hood up, but the positioning's good. So it's to come forward by hmm, quite a lot. But if I put it forward by that much, um, it's about that much. So an inch, an inch or so. That would see it poking out the side. Right. Right. I'm still impressed with how well that's moulded around the helmet there. That's excellent. So I call this a very successful prototype. I'll tell you what, a helmet is a very awkward thing to try and work on. It doesn't have any stable, po st st stable points. Um, right, so I need to get a bigger piece of this. I can't get any now because the shops are shut. I'll go out tomorrow and get a piece. And I'll make this a teeny bit longer. This will come down here. Go along there. Go up there. That's it pretty much, and this screw will go much nearer the front here, and that should hopefully clear it, clear the camera then, when I'm, uh, when I've got my hood up. Might cut that down a little bit further forward even. Yeah, a teeny little bit even ahead of that. 
So there's just room to put that there. Also, I was noticed, noticed I did some test footage. Um, I had the very slight side of my goggles in the uh, um, in the in the frame. So that's obviously going to cut off the, the left hand side of the the image there, which I don't want. So having it further forward will enable me to have the camera more centrally mounted and get a full full shot across in front of me. So that's also better. So. Um, well, it, I, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. You're going to see it in about when the, when this clip changes into the next clip. But uh, yeah, so I said it was going to be the next frame, but it wasn't. Um, I just thought I'd have a try of sticking it down. So I've just smoothed that edge a bit. Or oh, beveled that edge a bit just to make it fit in nicely. I've just stuck a couple of little bits of tape underneath, double-sided. This 3M double-sided uh, tape kind of foam so it's a little bit forgiving um, and uh, that isn't going anywhere when I mount it properly when I mount it properly I'll use a continuous piece of tape and I'll cut it cut it around to fit so it's nice but just uh, I mean just pushing that down there that's very firm that's not going anywhere so, as Hannibal would say, I love it when a plan comes together.